Hello, my name is Brian, and today I'm going to teach you how to find your network settings on a Windows XP computer. This is my first video tutorial, so please bear with me while I figure this whole thing out. There's a number of reasons you might need to find your network settings, one of which might be to troubleshoot problems with your internet connection. If you call up your internet service provider, they might want you to give them a little bit of information about how your network is configured. This is one way to figure that out. Another reason might be to play a local area network game with one of your friends. If you're going to connect to their server, you'll need to know their IP address. And if they're going to connect to yours, of course, they'll need to know your IP address. There's a number of solutions to this problem, one of which is to use the Windows graphical interface to find your network settings. This is the simplest method, of course, but you can only view one network at a time, so it'll take a couple extra steps if you have multiple networks and the actual steps actually depend on your desktop setup. There's a few different ways you can configure your desktop and the way you solve this problem will depend on how you have yours configured. Another way to do it, and my personal favorite, is to use the Windows command prompt. This can be used to display multiple network settings at once. Of course, it can be a little bit intimidating to beginners that have never used the command prompt before, but after you figure it out, you're going to feel like a networking pro. As I mentioned previously, there's a variety of methods to find your network connection settings within Windows XP. The most foolproof method also happens to be the most inconvenient. Start by clicking your Start button and select Control Panel. If your Control Panel looks like mine, you're in the default view for Windows XP called Category View. If it doesn't look like this, you might be in Classic View. This was the default in Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows Millennium Edition. But since we're working within Windows XP, go ahead and switch back to Category View for the remainder of this tutorial. Under Category View, click your Network and Internet Connections icon. Now click the Network Connections icon to open a list of your network connections. This window shows all the network connections available on your computer, including your local area connections, your internet connections, ethernet connections, and wireless connections. Right-click on a connected network connection. Now select the Status option. In the Network Connection Status window, you'll see a variety of information, including your network connection status, your speed, and the number of bytes that have gone into and out of your computer. Click the Support tab. The Support tab lists your address type, which can be either a DHCP address or a static address, your IP address, your subnet mask, and your default gateway. If you need more information than that, click the Details button. The Details window shows all the information that was in the Support tab, as you can see, but it also provides a little bit of additional information, including your DHCP server, the date and time when your lease is obtained, the date and time your lease expires, and your DNS servers, also called domain name servers. So that's the first method of finding your network connection settings. Let me show you two more. Depending on the configuration of your computer, you may or may not see a network connection icon on your system tray. If you see that icon, you can right click it and select status to bring up your network connection status window that we were just in. Again, you can cl click the support tab to see information about your network connection. Another way to get to this window is to click the start menu. You may or may not see a connect to menu. If you do, you can select the show all connections option which once again brings up the network connections menu where you can click a network connection and select status to view information about that connection. Those are the three ways I know to find your network connection settings through the graphical windows interface. My favorite method though uses the command line. To open a command line, click the start button, go to run, and type in CMD. Now click OK and this will open a command prompt window. Under the command prompt window, type the command ipconfig. This is short for Internet Protocol Configuration. As you can see, it displays a network connection configuration for the local area connection that we previously saw in the network connections window. If you need more information, you can type in ipconfig and use the all switch. This displays lots of information about this connection. If I had multiple connections, it would all be displayed here at one time, but since I only have one network connection on this PC, this is all we see. This concludes the tutorial.